yeah, welcome to the Toronto CNE International Air Show on the Sea Doos with me, Eric, and Woody. That's what I'm here for. That was it. What a cute drive. This is like an English country road. I feel like I'm back at home in Cornwall, but just driving on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> a, a part of me urges me to go on the other side <laughs> to make it feel normal. And there we have it, LaSalle Park Community Marina. Oh, this looks really nice. The Burlington Skyway just in the distance. Now I gotta find the guy I'm meeting here and figure out where I'll launch from. So, uh, let's have a look around. What a nice marina this is. So anyway, today's adventure, um, it's a Toronto air show today, up in Toronto. And originally the forecast was quite windy, but it's calmed right down. So I'm gonna sail from here on the sea Dew, And I've also met up with one of my followers from YouTube. He's down here on a business trip. And he's brought his sea Dew with him. And it's Eric, who's come all the way from uh, Quebec. So I'll introduce you to him in a minute. It's a little small launch, uh, but it's nice, concrete, easy. It's a very sharp turn to get in, but otherwise it's pretty good. Uh, this is Eric. Morning, Eric. Hi. <laughs> so he's just keeping an eye on my skis so it don't float away. Get my stuff ready and we'll uh, head out shortly. It's about 50 kilometers to Toronto where we're going along Lake Ontario, and I'll put it on the map where we're going. Uh, Eric's got a lovely uh, GTX Limited, new one this year. So uh, we're going to set off out of here into Hamilton Harbour. You can see the ship in the distance. And then from there, we're going to go underneath the uh, Burlington Skyway, the lift bridge. And then we're just going to make a straight line all the way up to Toronto towards the Humber. And that's where we're going to meet up with Woody. And uh, he knows exactly where we're going to go to watch the air show today. So the air show, basically uh, every summer here in Toronto for a long, long time, they have this thing called the CNE, the Canadian National Exhibition. And it's on for nearly three weeks. And the finale of it is with the Canadian International Air Show, which takes place along the waterfront by Exhibition Place. And uh, I've always wanted to go and check it out in the sea -Doo. Uh Last year we did the Buffalo Air Show, which was really cool on Lake Erie. And now we're getting to do the Toronto one. So this is going to be fun. a bit extra when I'm up there so we'll see how it goes uh, so the usual rule of thumb is make sure you start returning before you get to two thirds <laughs> or I should say a third He has a right of way, so we've got to wait for him to come out, then we can go behind him. this every day through work and yesterday it was a nightmare it was like gridlock traffic so it's nice to be on the water today i was envious of looking at people down here quite a bit of foot traffic going over the lift bridge some nice beaches just along here too
can't get much better than that. I'm like, where is he? Where is he? We didn't stop. All the way. I just found you straight away. <laughs> That's Eric. He's touring around with us for today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna shut this off and let it rest. So, um, an hour and 12 minutes, and we did 27 miles. So what, 40, just over 40 kilometers uh, in eco mode. So, uh, and I've used two bars of fuel. So that's pretty good. So here we are, we're um, just by Humber right now in Toronto. We're Beric from Montreal, Woody from Oshawa, but that's his fault, that's not ours. So, uh, so uh, yeah, we're gonna make our way over to Toronto Island. Uh, very shortly we're just discussing when woody came in from the oshawa side and said it's pretty quiet compared with last year and that might have something to do with the early start of the air show being 12 o'clock whereas all the previous years since i've lived here for the last 23 years it's always been one till four so uh anyway we're gonna make our way over to uh, the toronto island on the corner because it's quite busy i've heard so we'll go up there and we get a good view of the air show and have some fun so uh yeah welcome to the toronto cne international air show on the sea dues with me eric and woody Toronto! There's a huge police presence out here, of course, for the uh, keep people out of the airbox. The airbox is basically an area that's marked out uh, for safety, and if anyone encroaches that airbox during the air show, it gets shut down. Uh, it's a safe zone. So, uh, for all the pilots doing stunts and things like that. So, the airbox is the yellow markers are all over the place and we've got to stay out of those yellow markers so the air show basically will be happening the airport's just there and the plane should be coming right across here spinning around or going over the city so uh, we should get a good view from somewhere around here anchors in we're just gonna just chill out it's like a, a west jet just going up no porter airlines i should say listen to that here it comes around it's not part of the air show, it's just a commercial airliner. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's coming right over, it's gonna be a good bank. Definitely not one of the performers, like I said, Porter Airlines. Opening the show today. <laughs> Here we go, highlight of the air show. Here we go, and they're, and they're in formation. <laughs> what a perfect V. <laughs> yeah, substitute snowbirds. All right, we started the air show. Here we have, looks like a Hercules. Oh, good spot, Woody. <laughs> oh, the back door's open. Sweet. Yeah, fly by number two. Sweet. That's a better shot. Uh, well, we've got little stunt planes going on, and uh, there's only one else, and another one appeared. And uh, now, oh, there they are. They're fighting each other at the bottom, around the skyline, and the clouds coming up. Close. Those two boats are tied up together and Buddy in the water there fell right between them as a weight came and crushed him. Holy shit. I thought there was someone in the middle there and that was pretty wild. That green fender fucking saved him. The width of it, that's what saved him. Otherwise his head would have been crushed. Just split, guys. Just split. Just split. It's just stupid. Old people with fucking boats. <laughs> Alright, we've been here for an hour and... It's, uh, it's like snooze fest. <laughs> I feel bad for Eric. He's here for this little adventure and uh, nothing's happening. We've seen one great plane, which is a Hercules, which came right over us, which was cool. After that, nothing. Three little Diddy planes in the distance and the fire boat down there spraying water, but we've seen nothing else. And that's really it. He opened his uh, compartment over and his life vest fell right off. <laughs> uh, welcome to Lake Ontario. <laughs> this is how you get back onto a sea dune. Perfect. We'll put that in the training videos. 1.30 and uh, we're not seeing much. 
like an hour since that Hercules came by. But here's some excitement, the biggest excitement so far. Porter Airlines are coming to land. <laughs> That's as exciting as it gets, Porter Airlines. Porter's coming at an angle. And there we have it. All right. We sit and wait for something else. <sighs> well, why we wait, I'll just show you around here. Woody's just chilling. Boats, more 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 boats and jet skis. And we see nothing. Oh, here comes another Porter Airlines. So I think the only thing we're going to see out here, if we're lucky, is a couple of fighter jets towards the end because the uh, F 18 demonstration and the F 35 have still got to come. And we're hoping that's what will be spectacular over us here. If not, this will just be a dud video. Clock, been here for two hours, still only one plane. Um, hey, if you're at the air show and you watch this from uh, Exhibition Place, leave in the comments, was it any good from your advantage point? Because from here, we've only seen one decent plane, a couple of stunt planes and a helicopter really far in the distance. But nothing else has been no jets. It's just been really, really poor for an international air show. Very poor. Look at all these boats here waiting for it. Hooray! Something with some noise! <laughs> That's just a trainer. So something's going to come up right at the end. Here we go. I've got to try and maneuver without falling in. Oh, he's quiet. That's really quiet. Fire it up. Oh, the 400 engines. It's nice. Last minute replacement for the Snowbird. <laughs> now, if I'm not mistaken, that is the... Um, it's a different name, but it's basically it's an A310 converted. And it's what the uh, Prime Minister of Canada travels in. Uh, it's going to loop back round. First of all, I thought it was a 737 from a distance. And I realised it got right over me. It was an A310. So he's looping round. So we've got a nice jet over here. Nice. It's hard to see with the haze, but I'm, almost, I'm positive that is the aircraft that the uh, government used for the Prime Minister for his international travel. That's a 35. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, but look at that wing pattern, that's a 35. Come on, bring it over here fast and loud. Here he comes. Come on, just. I know, it's entertaining. <laughs> That's what I'm here for. That was it. That's the one I wanted. Yeah. yeah. That's what I like to hear. That was pretty fucking cool. What do you think for that? Hey, uh, wait, yeah, three hours we wait for that. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, I'm going out now, I'm done. <laughs> God, you feel the bass right in your chest as it came right over, it's phenomenal. Oh, what are you, buddy? Where are you going, where are you going, buddy? Where are you going, buddy? No, let him go, let him go.
right, the air show is finished, and it was it was really, really bad from here. Really bad, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, the highlight was the very end, the F-35 that came over. We saw no F-18. Uh, God knows where that went to. No one saw it, no one heard it. Um, the second highlight would have been the Porter Airlines coming in. We have another one coming in very, very shortly. So now everyone's making their way into wherever, the harbor and so on. I'll take you into the harbor, then we'll turn around and go back out. Since you're here, all right? It'd be rude not to. All right. <laughs> All right, because Eric's here from Montreal, we're gonna have a quick ride into the harbour, then we'll turn around and head back to Hamilton before it gets bad. So uh, here goes. guys we're all Canadian Air Force watching over us giving us a wave look at the weight <laughs> oh my god waves are crashing right over where the helicopter is I get the wave as well. Nice one. Epic. Thank <laughs> you. 
We're going from both directions. done about 70 miles since we left this morning so 110 115 kilometers and it's gonna go back to the ramp uh start off with a full tank of fuel i'm just below half a tank uh saying that though i did keep in eco mode the whole way uh the plan was to go come back in regular mode uh but it's just too choppy so we ended up in eco mode the whole time because we couldn't get above 45 kilometers anyway so anyway i gotta try and get the skis out of the water and uh, pack up. All right, that was quite the epic ride. Um, Eric's just gone to get his sea out and he's driving back to Montreal straight after this. So uh, I just got my uh, ski out. Just uh, gonna put the ski back together and uh, dry off a little bit, head back home and uh, edit the video at some point. Look at that, I sucked up some grass right at the end. That was at the dock. Uh, what a mess. My ski's sitting straight, straight enough. Got all that shitty Lake Ontario water out of there. <laughs> Don't want to take that back to Quebec. Alright, we're done. That's another adventure over and done with.